What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Hey, do you nerd? It's as simple as that. Do you nerd? We want to start talking about the things that we nerd out about, and occasionally we might bring a guest along. This time around, we actually do have someone. But first of all, let's jump right into it. Do you nerd for comics? Uh, yeah, we do. Yeah, a little just bit. A little bit. Love our Marvel, especially. So you know what got me into comic books? The cartoon X Men. 90s cartoon honestly i really didn't know who the x-men were i started watching that cartoon and just fell in love with it i was enamored with it especially with the raging cajun himself gambit was so freaking cool went to school one day there was this kid he had some marvel trading cards he was going through and i recognized some of the characters and i said hey you have a gambit card he did we made a trade got a couple of cards started reading the info on the back of those cards and that is when I noticed at the store, well, there's more than just a cartoon and cards, there are comics. And boy, are there. Oh, man. <laughs> well, this is actually what got me into comic books. As much as I adored Gambit from the cartoon and everything, I was at the store and I saw this first issue, his first mini series, four issues long, and I made sure I got every issue. Now, Gambit doesn't always have the most fun storylines. It's always about the thieves and assassins. Could never be about anything else. But I still love the character to this day. And if it wasn't for the cartoon and this guy right here, I never even would have gotten into comics for better or worse now. <laughs> All right, well, let's throw it over to a buddy of ours. He might be the better half of the button bashers. We'll see what Jamie has to say about that. But Dan, do you nerd? Hello, yes, yeah, Dan from the Button Bashers here. So why do I love comic books? There's something, just something about them. Um, it's where you can just escape from the world if you be a comic book, pick it up. You just escape and you're totally immersed in that story. I think when. What really started was when, <clears throat> when I was young and Batman the Animated Series was out in 92. Um, obviously I bought 93 but I watched it when it came out. Uh, later on it was on reruns on Saturday mornings. I started out a love affair with Batman and DC, and much as I love Marvel too, but love affair with DC, especially Batman. Oh, Batman. Um, just how amazing that TV series is. <laughs> it's ridiculously good. I've got, got them all on um, Blu-ray and things. It never loses its rewatchability. It just means it means so much, doesn't it? When you move on to the films and things, there's been a few, you know, not so good ones and some absolutely brilliant ones. Uh, superhero films. Like the MCU is brilliant. The but the DCU, not so much. But excited for the Snyder cut of uh, Justice League, which I don't think we're going over here. HBO Max isn't over in the UK at the minute. Um, but when there's uh, definitely watching that. So a few pieces of my collection. Uh, I've just got these recently. I've got them delivered the other day. Um, there's Batman, obviously. Batman features a lot in these uh, new pieces of the collection. So I haven't read this one yet. We haven't thought of that one. Another Batman comic. Batman Through the Looking Glass with the uh, Mad Hatter. And that looks, yeah, that looks great. I'm going to that one. A uh, couple of other pieces. Uh, the 80th anniversary uh, Batman 1989 Keaton Tim Burton film. Um, sort of love Funko Pops. So I mean, I got it from a when I was shopping a couple of, couple of months back. Um, they had a Funko. I don't know if I showed anyone already. That was a massive Funko stand that you get them all collect on. They were throwing it out. Uh, so I said, could I have it? And they said, yeah, take it away. So all of me Funkos currently, I think I've got about 120, are all on this stand. Looks pretty cool. Uh, next up, we have uh, Catwoman, neck from 1992, Batman Returns, Michelle Pfeiffer. Uh, it's just something about a woman in leather and like staples and stuff. And a whip. And Michelle Pfeiffer, to be fair. But yeah, very nice addition. Love that. And finally, this one, this is a big one. <clears throat> Another Funko. 
is the Batman 1966 Batman and Robin, another 80th anniversary collection. Yeah, I mean, the 80 years, been going 80 years, still going strong. So this one, I absolutely love this, got a really good deal on as well. Just class, absolutely amazing. Like I just I could talk about, talk about comic books, superheroes, genre for to the end of time, till the end of time, still wouldn't get bored of it. But yeah, that's why I love comic books, superheroes, and why I'm a giant nerd. So, catch you next time. Oh, yeah, look, as much as we love Marvel stuff, there is always that allure of Batman. Holy cow. A great character, seriously, has got some of the best villains in his rogues gallery of all time. They're not all villains. Catwoman is, you know, not always a villain. <laughs> and he had some cool stuff there, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Batman's got some cool Funko pops, especially like the bigger stuff oh and everything. Oh my gosh, yeah. Very, very cool. Mm, All right. Stuff. Well, it is on to you, my lady. Well, I feel like I might be a little carbon copy here, but honestly, what got me into comics are these two right here. Yeah, this, this, this Raging Cajun and uh, this Southern Bale. I loved watching the cartoon so much as a kid. I loved it. I didn't even know there were comics that were attached to it, honestly. <laughs> I just watched the cartoon every Saturday morning. I absolutely loved it. Eventually I learned that it was based off of comics. The movies came out. I didn't care that they weren't like the comics. I just knew they weren't like the TV show. And I never really thought about reading them just to see which one was better or whatever. And then I meet this guy and he's like, oh, you love the X-Men? So we kind of bonded over that a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I get a DS and he's like, hey, did you know that I can put comics on your DS? And I was like, ooh, do that! I am one of those people that I must start from the beginning. So I Oof. made him put the 1963 X-Men comics on there. And I learned their wordy. Starting from the beginning with any comic series can be rough, yeah. just FYI. Yeah, that kind of put me off of comics. A lot of not the characters I was interested in. So I kind of put it down for a little while. Flash forward a bit to Comic Cave. Oh, man. And loved that store. Loved I went in there for the toys. He went in there for the comics. Well, I find this toy on the shelf. And I have no idea who she is or what she is. And I'm like, why is there a pink Deadpool looking chick? What is going on? <laughs> I love penguins. And she's got a penguin backpack on. So I needed to know more about her. So I talked to the owner, Josh, about it. And I'm like, okay, what is up with this character here? He basically gives him her, her little synopsis and tells me she has her own comic. And I start to get interested. So then I go over and I thumb through and I've got as many Gwenpool comics as he had. I started reading them, started branching out from here and there. So thanks to Josh at the Comic Cave for being so easy to talk to and not judging you at all for what comics you like or don't like, it got me back into comics. And because we had a great place to go to get comics, that is basically where I consider my love of comics really, really started. Here's issue number one. and. Look at this cover. I mean, there's a lot going on. There's a on lot there. going on, and why would you not be so curious as to want to read this comic? Well, nerdlings, please let us know in the comments down below. Do you nerd for comics? Feel free to share your story. Uh, of course, as always, if you would love to do a video response, you know, we'd like to see it. So let us know by dropping a link to the video in the comments down below. Please give the video a like. If you happen to like it, subscribe, notification bell, all that stuff. And check out the link in the description that will take you over to the button bashers. And let Dan know how cool Batman is. And uh, <laughs> Jamie, your secret's safe with us. You masked man, you. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it... We nerd it for comics! Comics! Damn it, right here. Ooh. Maybe Cher wants a little kiss, huh? Oh. It's like every time. Check this out, look. Howard the Duck, in issue number one. Where Gwenpool started. Howard the Duck. I, I, have we met Howard the Duck? We probably met him. <laughs> Y'all, I told you, he came over for Thanksgiving at the professor's mansion one time. Cher, yeah, I had so much wine, I don't remember who came over. <laughs> well, he's drunk. <laughs> Rawr. Rawr. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> so, let us know by dropping a comment. Don't forget, like,